the Japanese have rugby fever. But it's not all about the World Cup. The World Wheelchair Rugby Challenge is also reaching its climax in Tokyo, with Japan's Rio 2016 bronze medalists chasing qualification for their home Paralympics in 2020. Rugby suddenly a magic word in a country that has barely followed any form of the game until now. Japan's 15-a-side team has already made history, reaching their first ever World Cup quarter-final. South Africa the next opponents for a team that has suddenly forced its way into the rugby elite and the hearts of the Japanese people. Our impact is different on different people. Some get power or courage. Some might just enjoy it as a sport. But for us, it's more than sport. We try to play in a way that can move people. We hope that will happen in the next game too. Japan has grown as a rugby-loving nation since the team nicknamed the Brave Blossoms pulled off a shock victory over South Africa at the last World Cup. That match four years ago wasn't shown by any Japanese TV channels. Things have changed. The national broadcaster had a record audience of more than 50 million for Japan's win over Scotland last week, making it the most watched live event of 2019. Their exploits grabbing headlines normally reserved for the end of the baseball season. I've been a sports journalist for 25 years and I've never seen any Japanese team put in this much effort. There is this fever because the team is strong, so those watching get high expectation and by winning, the popularity rises. That means we get more of our papers sold, so it's a win-win situation. The players hope the added exposure works out for them too. Japan may have matched Tier 1 nations on the pitch, but not in terms of pay. They each get $100 a day for expenses during the tournament. But it doesn't affect motivation. Money is a very important thing in life, but we aren't playing for Japan because of money. We have a cause. What matters to us is understanding that it's the cause that we are playing for. The immediate mission is to get past a South African team that's in the hunt for a third World Cup trophy and out to dash Japanese dreams. Japan may have beaten the Springboks four years ago, but the host nation's incredible form at this World Cup means South Africa should be better prepared on Sunday. Japan's place in rugby history is already assured. A place in the semi-finals would be even better. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Tokyo.